Greetings, Earthman, Origami's Living Soil, servant of the Most High God, who is alive and who reigns forever. We are going to do an experiment here. Um, in this experiment, I'm going to highlight one of the bacteria I use in uh, my uh, different um, you know, soil mixes and stuff. And that would be a bacteria that breaks down silica. Now, silica is an important part of a plant's growth. Um, I don't care what you say, it is essential. Uh, a major source of natural silica is from plants themselves. So they're just recycling plants into the soil, their stem, their stalks and stuff are really good sources of silica. But other sources of silica are green sand, which is really good, and other stuff like magnesium and other minerals. Um, regular sand, quartz, which I was able to get some free quartz from um, a guy who cuts quartz for different uh, uses, and uh, that was free. And then rice hulls, which is another thing I, I use in a lot of my soil mixes um, for a lightener, and an inoc I also inoculate it, and um, it, so it makes a good place for a bacteria to hang out. And it's a good source of silica. Also, uh, diatomaceous earth, a good thing to use if you got spider mites to spread it on your soil. Um, and it, they don't like it. It cuts them up a little bit. It cuts them up a lot um, if you consistently use it, though. Uh, so, so this bacteria breaks that down. Now, why does a plant need silica? Silica is necessary for uh, several different things. Uh, photosynthesis. It does assist in that. Uh, helps in transpiration, you know, getting the fluid up the stem to the leaves and to the flower or whatever your uh, fruit, whatever. Um, it also is a major part in helping your plant in drought stress. If your your plant dries out, um, heat stress, you know, whatever, uh, silica bacteria, uh, the silica in a plant helps. Uh, with that and how does it do that it strengthens it strengthens the structure of the plant um, it really helps uh, uh, your stem grow strong and thick and um, that's important for the rest of the plant structure too and also it plays a part of you know just the overall building blocks of a plant uh, so silica is important and it's important to be able to have it plant ready um, and you know make it ready without having to use a, a liquid form and which there are um, other stuff out there that has silica uh, liquid stuff that's plant ready but this is the best way to do it in my opinion so this is a silica growth bacteria I mean a, a silica uh, growth promoting bacteria that breaks down silica and uh, together with mycorrhizal um, bringing it back to the roots. Hey, um, you're doing good. Um, this right here is my own IMO3 um, or I call it DMO because uh, this is one of the bacteria and other targeted growth bacteria I use in the making of my uh, IMO. I call it DMO, uh, dominant microorganism. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on top all right, and then the other half, even though I don't need this much, you only need a tiny bit. So I'm gonna try to sprinkle this on top. I probably don't need it all, just a little bit. Okay, so I got uh, the silica bacteria on one half, and then I have um, on the majority half uh, my uh, IMO. So what I do is I'm gonna uh, try to inoculate this soil um, you know, put some life into it. Uh, some of the soil is some um, red soil, uh, clay soil I got from Virginia. I brought it up just to play around with it. It was totally dead soil. And this other soil was some uh, used up soil. And so I wanted to inoculate it and bring life back into it. Uh, I, I used too much of each thing on there, but as an, you know, whatever. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up, put it in a dark, cool place, and uh, we'll come back in about a uh, week or less and um, you'll see what happens um, well I know what's going to happen uh, a lot of mycocillin is going to form on the top of the soil uh, and we're going to see what happens on this side if any mycocillin or any type of action happens with uh, this or this or see you know compare them or whatever but uh, just a little education on silica 
the importance of silica and why you should think about putting a bacteria that's targeted to break down silica and make it plant ready with conjunction you know working with mycorrhizal so little fyi for you well that's it i hope god is blessing you during these holiday season days remember the christmas christmas is not about us it's about him it's about jesus and how he he is savior of the world and he loves us all guys well that's it may god bless you your family and may your plants grow huge to the glory of god